I don't want to get one shot by this Ezreal, so I spread out my carries. Honestly, there's a small chance that Ezreal still one shots me, which is really horrifying because of all the ways to die, Ezreal with Radiant Giant Slayer. Oh god, he one shot Sona, but TF's still alive. TF is still alive, I can win this. You've got to be kidding me. I lose like that. Are you kidding me? Are you f I already said many times, I play Disco because it's uncontested and bad. I know it's bad. I play it because it's uncontested and it's bad. Because when you watch me play Ari, I have to contest five players and half the time, maybe two thirds of the time, I just die because I didn't even get to play the game. I'd rather play TF and at least play the game. Right? I'd rather at least play the game like I did there and try to like pilot a good disco board than to say I'm playing Ari. Hello, I would like one order of the best build in the game. Could everybody stand back and just let me hit it? I've done that too. Sometimes I hit and I win. Sometimes I don't hit and I instantly lose. And I'm not even playing TFT, I'm just playing a slot machine. Wanna play the ad break? I'll see you guys later. I cannot believe I just lost 50 LP for that. Is there a reason why you bought Cassante and then sold it? Yes, it's really stupid. It's the headliner rules that have recently been discovered. If you if you let that Cassante pass, you will not hit a heart steel Cassante. And I want a heart steel Cassante. I want to at least have the option of hitting it. Try to get a two cost headliner and then start winning, or put in heart steel and start losing. Either one. My items scream AD, Edge of Night, Titans Resolve. I really don't like playing AD. I'd rather just like lose some and then uh, fix my items later. Oh my god. What a shop. Okay. Uh, I need to sell. Oh, I, I like literally cannot afford my shop. Holy crap. Come at me. It might actually be worth locking because this shop has exactly the, the fifth unit I want. That's actually crazy. I got such an expensive shop that I couldn't afford everything. It was 12 gold. All right. I would actually like to lose this. Dang it. Oh, f losing that would have actually been like pretty good. Okay, well now that I won, I want to win. Uh, hello Tom something. Thanks for the five months. Hello Mo Magdi. Thanks for the sub. Oh, I called him really annoying and then he subbed. It reminds me of those. Uh, I think it's called like a shame kink. Thank you, Shining Bam.
Oh, thank you, Momanki. I appreciate the message. That is very kind of you. I am sorry for being so outbursty today. I've had a very rough day. There have been a lot of frustrating games, and that fourth place instead of a first is just like the very. It's not even the beginning of it. It's been like that all day. Oh. Surely today will be. This game will be different. I have what looks to be a crazy start. Heart steal, level up, win streak. Level up is interesting. They changed it last set. Wait, hang on. Let me think about my item. Uh, okay, well, that guy wins the game. Let's make a red buff. So, last set, level up was like, it gave you nothing. And then now when you buy EXP, you get an additional three. Which makes your EXP 75% more efficient. This new level up is, you gain eight right now, so it's front loaded. But now you're only, your EXP is only 50% more efficient. So, I think it's a good change. Like, good game design. I don't know about good power level, because the old level up was really degenerate. You basically just took it, and then just did nothing for the entire game. And then you level it up to 8, and then you start rolling. Uh, now, I, there's like a little bit more like, well, you're already level 4, and it only costs 4 gold to go level 5. You might as well like play to save some HP, or even try to like beat the weak players like I am. I leveled to 5, risked it for the biscuit for a headliner, got one. And then now we're fighting. If I didn't hit a headliner, I would just like kept sacking. And it would have been a bit awkward because I'd have no econ. I have a red buff. I have four sentinels. I uh, this is most likely an Ezreal game. Just like how that guy one shot my Sona, giving me a fourth place instead of a first. Which is really annoying because I was 100 percent stronger than him. I will be the guy that one shots other people. Or at least tries to. I don't know if I can guarantee a Radiant Giant Slayer. Okay, hopefully I win this. I need the four streak so I can make 20. If I lose this, it's actually really bad for me. I just realized there's a Cruel Pack player. If I face Cruel Pack player, I'm going to be very, very, very sad. Okay, not Cruel Pack player. Come on, you can do it. Triforce Annie, what the heck? Oh, I lose. No. I got a better heart silver reward now, but. I'm pretty sure overall I lost money there though. Cause uh, I get like what, an extra like four gold for my cash out. But now I uh, don't get my two gold for win streaking, two gold for win streaking again, and the one gold for winning. It's not the end of the world though. I'd say it's still playable. Senna's good. For some reason, I thought that was gonna level me up. That's fine. I thought I could pre-level that. Um, I think you're always slamming a this thing, and we'll just do like an AD flex. I say AD flex because uh, if I slam Gunblade, we could maybe play Sentinel Ari, but I've had enough of Ari. Also, I don't think Red Buff's very good in this situation. In the red buff, in the Sentinel Ari, who can take the red buff? It'd be like a random Lulu, I guess, to apply it. I'd rather like play Caitlyn or Ezreal, and then red buff's like actually very desirable. Good loss, please.
Recombob, do I have anything? No, I don't have anything that interesting. If I had a two-star three cost, I would have done it. Um, not blistering strikes, I already have red buff. Pandora's items. I kinda like it. I think I like it better than Silver Veil. Yeah, I think I will not be getting the items I want this game. Because I think I'm going to be like... I think I'm going to be like generally winning a lot of my fights. So I won't get my carousel pick. If my choice is between like getting... Guaranteeing like better quality items versus getting um... 5% attack speed boost and then block one stun. I feel like I would choose this. It also does let me randomly hit something crazy and pivot. Just like using a couple turns to reroll whatever doesn't fit. If I get a headliner Ari, I could actually make it work now. Sometimes you get a clutch cast with Veil. Oh, I agree. I think Silver Veil is pretty good. Uh, the reason why I'm taking this, Pandora's Silver is the best Pandora's in the game. It is significantly better than like, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the gold and the prismatic variants. Because for the opportunity, you're basically paying your entire augment to be able to reroll items. And like, who cares if it gives you like a full item or a random radiant item? Those are usually not that good compared to what other people get. But like here you get one component and then the ability to reroll for the price of a silver augment is really good. I think in a lot of situations you will win fights because your item quality was higher. I just like knowing that I can just roll at 8 flexibly and then just play whatever I get and then I can fix my items later. Oh, good loss. Wait. Good loss. That's actually very ideal for me. Holy shit. That's literally like a, a win trade. Um, okay. So if this sword turns into a glove, I slam the IE. I think I also want a blue buff. I'm like down to slam a blue buff because if I hit Caitlyn, I can just reroll it. Actually, I think I take the echo for now. I don't think I want the blue buff yet. Like, I don't even have a unit who can use blue buff yet. Just take the Echo to get an Echo. Is Radiant Relics better than Pandora's? The Prismatic? I would say so, because it takes a long time to reroll that Prismatic into what you want. It takes a really long time to reroll it into what you want. So, like, it's really important that you're not too greedy with your Pandora's. Right, think of it like a refor like a w think of it like it gives you one reforger every turn. You can't really make it always the best in slot, but you can get a couple best in slots and mostly decent items. And anything that's like completely garbage, you can reroll. It fixes those rounds where you're like playing TF or Ari and you get like belt, cloak, belt, cloak, sword. Oh, this guy's playing true damage Ari. Oh, just money. Uh, the last item here is probably a blue buff. And then if we hit Caitlyn, I can re-roll it. I think I'm just gonna go eight and then play like anything. Yeah, just go eight and play anything. Oh, it's kind of like a win, lose, win, lose, win. Okay, let's not get too attached to our heart still cash out. You know, I just realized. I just realized that I have two econ augments, or like, not really combat augments, I should say. Level up's definitely an econ augment. Prismatic or uh, Pandora's is like kind of a combat augment, I guess. If like you can consider your item quality is better to be an augment, then yes. I'm surprised this guy is playing Triforce Annie for so long and it's working. That doesn't sound like a good build to me. Okay, so I'm gonna try to keep any tears and I guess a belt. Let me hold this Nami to like, uh, to put any items on. 
And I'm gonna try to keep Heartsteel in, but we'll, we'll see. In general, I wanna buy Sentinels, Ari, Caitlyn. No, not even the Ari. Oh, oh, oh my god. I literally misclicked it like four times. God damn it. I'm, oh. Okay, well, it's an Ari game. It's definitely an Ari game. Okay, I need to like slowly build the Aria items though. So let, let's like all of this reroll. Do I already have a two circus Sante? I do. Okay. I mean, if I hit it this early with this much HP, I'm down. All right. Let's try to not be too greedy with it, but I'm definitely inting this first round to set up. I can't believe I lost the tier because I like didn't grab it out of the air. My mouse accuracy is too low. Uh, I don't think it's little buddies. So one, two, three, four. Maybe, maybe it is worth it. Yeah, I could see it. I'll play Garen as well. Nashers for sure. Uh, I need one Blitzcrank, but I'm not sure if I'm down to roll for it. Because I'm pretty sure I just go 9 off this, and then I can look for it. I feel like I should just take this JG. This is like one of those situations of like, I don't think you should be too greedy. I should just take it. Also, I'm pretty sure Warmogs is the best in slot. So I'm going I'm to slam this. It's the best in slot Sentinel tank item because you have so much resist. I, I think you should not be greedy here. Like, I'm at like four or five lives. I should just like slam good stuff. Or I should say, I should slam like half decent things. I think Little Buddies is a high roll here, but I'm not sure. Seventy two EXP. I'm too tired to do the math correctly, but like this might be on interval. This might be on interval. Do I have a two storm ward? No, I don't. It literally tells you. No, that doesn't you dumb sorry, I was about to call you a dumb fuck. I'll just call you a dumbass instead. You dumbass. That doesn't tell you if it's on interval or not. It tells you how much gold it costs you to upgrade. It doesn't tell you if it's on interval or not. Things like level up that change how much EXP you gain, it's hard to do the math on if it's on an interval. If this were a regular game, this is absolutely not on interval. On interval, off interval matters quite a bit because it gets you an extra like four or extra four gold based on when you level. Either way, I'm probably just leveling here because I'm at 34 HP. But I'm pretty sure last round was on interval, so I'm Pretty sure I was supposed to level last round. All right, uh, this is always playable. And then, I don't think I'm gonna greet the Gunblade. I think I'm just gonna slam a Spark. Yeah, this is off interval for sure. That's fine, it's whatever. Uh, okay, so I could drop Mordekaiser, or we'll see. Actually, I kinda like this Ziggs. Keep it simple. I like I like the Ziggs to um Oh he can also hold the red buff, but I like him as my spark. That way I can slam a rod for gunblade. Uh this Lulu is interesting. But Gragas is a little buddy and a bruiser. Seraphine's a little buddy. I'm probably gonna just not play this Lulu. 
Also, I'm almost thinking level 10 is possible. Is that crazy? I probably shouldn't be thinking about 10. But my board actually looks pretty good now. I, I think this Alawi really completed it. Wow, okay, I don't even need the blue buff. This Ari is just kind of pounding on her own because of little buddies. She's actually like faster than a blue buff Ari. All right, looking for a sword. Uh, I could play TF at 10. I don't want to use the item mover because I want to item move from Echo to like a two star tank, two star five cost. So I'm probably just going to rebuild the Seraphine when I get the chance. You want to hold the tier? No, I don't care about blue buff. Well, not that much. Oh dang, I did not hit. Okay, I might actually do blue buff then, and then do a Gwinsu's. Okay, I'm just gonna level. I, I will just do this then. Boom, boom. And then... Ah, oh, fuck. I want to do Gunblade, but I don't want to... I don't think I can wait for it. And then... Throw it on Seraphine for now, and I'll, I'll move this to like a Sona. Holy shit, I barely won because of it. Okay, what am I looking for now? Uh, this is a two-star sentinel. I'm gonna lose a proc of little buddies, but I think it's worth it. Okay, I mean, it's fine. I can just give these both to Ziggs. Oh fuck, I'm so clumped because of my KDA pattern. I kind of want to like drop KDA, like swap out the Seraphine for a Sona. I don't have a Gunblade on this Ari. She, she's just like a fuck ton of damage because even though I have Pandora's, like with only two or three lives left, I'd rather just play this JG, which is pretty good instead of greeting because if you were guaranteed a JG, uh, not JG, if you were guaranteed a Gunblade in one round, I would do it. But you're you're not guaranteed, right? It's, it's actually like not even a very high chance of hitting. How is this board stable? What the heck? I'm surprised you're 48 HP. I'm gonna try to make space for my Ari. I'm really surprised that he's like not getting destroyed. His entire prismatic augment is getting a Kali too, and then he has a comp or uh, an econ augment, and then he has one combat caster. Like I just dealt 18 damage to him. I mean, my board's strong though, so. But like, I'm surprised that everyone else did not just like deal 18 damage to him every fight. Um. So how do I get stronger here? I don't know. I I kind of like what I have here. I feel like I'm just looking for upgrades now. Uh. Okay, well, there's a KDA spat, obviously. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like a BT or Sterex here. Here's the Sona. All right, I'm just gonna roll. It's the end of the game. I might just let this reroll.
If I think I'll lose, I'll slam a BT on Echo just for tank stats. Not ideal, but none of those items are that great. I think Sterex was like okay if I got Yorick. Alright, it's fine. I feel like hopefully at the end I can just get overwhelming unit value and it's all good. I need a replacement Ziggs. Like, I need the Shred, but I also want Sona. Oh my god, do I win? Holy shit, that was a close fight. Actually, a BT diff. I'm just gonna keep Donkey rolling right at the end of the game. Um. Wow, shit. Uh, I actually don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. I have Ari, who's actually stronger. Okay, I'm not even sure if that was worth it. Is TF2 actually gonna do anything for me? Okay, uh, admittedly, he does kind of do something. It's plus like 500 health to my team for four gold. Although, if I end up not hitting Alawi 2 because of it, or Sona 2, it's gonna be kind of rough. But yeah, Sona is actually like not better here. Sona just goes in over Seraphine once I'm ready. Let's crank the idea. Oh shit. The end game disco flex. <laughs> Wait, it actually like works. What the hell? It actually fits. Oh, it's really a party up in here. Why not bard for another little buddy? I've learned that you should definitely not greed little buddies. You should just like play a board that already benefits from little buddies, but still just play normally. Okay, I need a replacement Ziggs. I'm down to drop a uh, Seraphine. Like, I don't need KDA. It's not that big of a deal. I feel like my positioning is getting kind of griefed. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to greet the disco positioning too hard. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to greet it too hard. I'll, I'll give it to like some of my units. But if, if you clump too hard, that's just like asking to get one shot by someone. Oh, wow, my Ari is such a chad. She survived that. Is red buff Ziggs better than red buff TF? Uh, if you're not itemizing your TF, yes. Three star set. Three star Samir, three star Urga. This guy did kind of. Oh, it's a cool pack guy. Interesting. I forgot that there was one in our game. Oh, fuck. I think I lose. Oh, wait. I barely won. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. I kind of want to buy this Echo and rebuild, but. It's not that big of a deal. I'd rather just get the blitz crank. Hmm, why did I do that? Downgrade the TF. No, I've got I've got health. I might as well just play it all. Also, like a naked blitz crank's not gonna be the difference maker. 
I'll just wait one round. Okay, I'm just like making sure my Ari do or he doesn't send my whole team. You can send half of my team, just not all of it. Okay, uh, what do I need to win this? Shojin, I think. I need Shojin. Nico 3. This guy's got a pretty capped up board. Uh, this guy doesn't have any AoE, so this guy I can just clump really hard. Okay, next time I see an Echo, I should probably buy it and then move at least the items to Blitzcrank. I'm pretty sure I win this fight. Could have been a three-star Sona. No, once you buy them, they start not appearing in the shop. They become rarer and rarer with each one you buy. Like, it, I know it looks like I skipped, like, Alawi 3. I passed by a billion, but, like, it's the same Alawis. Once you actually start buying them, they don't actually really appear. Let me think about how to handle this final matchup. Let me see if I can get a replacement Echo. Okay, so... I think I need to just, like, stack everything on this side. Like, basically be like, yeah, you can... You can put your Thresh here. You, you can stun my whole team once, and then after that, my whole team plays together. I want to say I win this. Just have everyone hit the same target. Last time I had my Ari hitting a different target, I don't think it was good. Okay, yeah, his Thresh gets one stun. Do I win? I can't tell. Oh, it's really close. It's really close. Oh my god. Wow. Uh-oh. If he hits... Hmm. If he hits uh, Vex 3, he probably wins. What can I do here? Okay, let me think. Yeah, I'll try to hit Ziggs too. It should be pretty easy at level 10. Can I get a game-changing item here? It's probably just a good tank item for Alawi. Uh-oh. Did he notice? I don't think he noticed. He didn't move his Thresh, yes. I have all my tanks away, or all, all my tanks in front of the Samira, and then all my carries away. My Blitzcrank rolled some troll items, but my positioning is perfect here. If there was ever a fight to win, it's right here. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Nice, the quick four unit swap. I almost didn't move the Disco Ball in time. Yay! That's what happens when you roll once and hit Ari. The only reason this is all possible is because I got an Ari headliner, which we know is good, but then we could re-roll our items. So like that decision actually like won me the game because it made it set in a different roll, and then I could go 10.